Okay, in this video we're going to do something weird. I'm uh, logged into my AP classroom and I'm in the test uh, test bank, the question bank, um, and what I've done is I've selected a bunch of things. So um, for assessment purpose and source, I chose only the AP exam. Um, for exam alignment, I've chosen perfect. Uh, for security, obviously, I chose publicly available. Um, for question type, I picked FRQ because that's all I want to see. And then since this video is meant for students who are trying to figure out what they're doing with the uh, 2020 exam where uh, it's going to be, it looks like online, free response questions, see my other video for more of a description of what's going on. Uh, this is meant for just uh, AB students. And so we know that uh, unit eight will not be on the exam. And so what I'm going to do I think with my current setup, with all of these filters applied, I'm only seeing uh, FRQs from the exam that are in this database. And also, it's it like goes by part, so like there aren't 686 questions, there's 686 parts of questions. So this will be uh, useful, but like maybe only questionably useful. So what I can do is I can scroll through the entire uh, course uh, description and see all of like the, the topics. So I think it'll be easy for you to tell if a question has a uh, volume on it, right? Uh, those are pretty straightforward. Uh, so none of this. So there will be no uh, around the x-axis, around the y-axis, vertical, horizontal axes, uh, none of the slicing, right? So no rectangles, no squares, triangles, semicircles, whatever. None of that's going to be on there. But let's take a look. So finding average value won't be on it. So what we're looking at is what won't be on the exam. So I click that. And uh, I'm just going to like show you uh, what they maybe look like. So uh, let's preview this one and see. So this is a question that you wouldn't see. So a uh, particle moves along, find the average speed, right? Because that's the average value of uh, the speed. So we're not going to be doing that. Let me click uh, here. According to the model, what is the average velocity of the plane? So uh, we can't find average velocity using an integral. We could find... Um, average velocity uh, as uh, change in position over time, like the average rate of change of position uh, is is also average velocity, so that's still fair game, I think. Uh, if you, all right, so I mean average, I, I feel like average value is probably not a problem because it's you can usually tell when you read the question. Um, so let's take a look at 8.2. Use uh, connecting position velocity acceleration using integrals. So again, we're going through and looking at things that won't be on the exam because uh, I think it's pretty easy to tell what will be. Like anything that involves derivatives, for sure. It's really integrals where it becomes kind of a question. Uh, so I'm just going to like click and we'll see. So uh, who lives closer to the school? So uh, I think the reason that this wouldn't be on. So uh, and we'll look in a, a minute or so. I think that you can still be asked questions about uh, like accumulating area geometrically, right? So if, if you're given a, an integral like uh, for Karen here, she rides her bicycle along a straight road, starting at home, arriving 12 minutes during the time, her velocity is modeled in the piecewise linear function, right? So you can find this area, find this area, do this, add them up, right? And answer questions about that. What you won't be doing is, I think, dealing with Larry. I think he's the reason that you can't uh, be asked this question uh, because he involves uh, this thing, I think. I, I don't, you know, nobody really knows at this point. I mean, other than, I guess, the college board. There's another, or maybe that's the same, hard to say. Total distance is going to be a problem. Um, total distance. Maybe the standard is just finding total distance. I don't really know. Um... So let's see what else you got here. Um, accumulation functions. I feel like this is a, a question that you might have. Uh, like, what is this really? So this is, again, uh, using accumulation functions and definite integrals in applied contexts. Uh, so let's click one. So this one has 6.7. So let's see what this is, because 6 could be on it. Uh, the rate at which people enter an auditorium uh, is this. Total wait time is this. So I feel one thing that's a little confusing about this is I think also this one, uh, well, using accumulation functions, right? So 
I guess that this is the sort of thing you wouldn't have to do. Um, even though they like spell it out for you, w of 2 minus w of 1 total, I mean, if you already learned it, like don't forget it, right? So you'll you'll be prepared. But I mean, this actual question wouldn't be able to be on it because they're saying that uh, unit 8 is on this. Uh, let's see, what, what else I got in here? Um, I feel like it's most useful to click on the ones that also involve units. Well, here's one, five graphical. Let's see what's going on. Um, the figure above shows graph of the function, has a horizontal, blah, blah, blah. Determine the absolute minimum value of the function on the closed interval. Um, so we know that f of 8 is 4. Somewhere in here is f of 8. f of 8 is 4, and then you'd have to like work your way backwards. Uh, it's, 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 it's a little confusing. Like, uh, I think that you should definitely know the candidates test, make sure you remember it. Um, but like this is indexed to unit eight. So, uh, this question would not be on it, but I swear that I was going through unit six and I found some questions like that, uh, that could be on it. Uh, all right. So area, this is, it, so to me, it's really interesting finding area between curves expresses functions of X as functions of Y. Um, curves that intersect at more than two points. So let's just take a look at um, some of these. So here, this is six and eight. Let's see. Uh, let R be the region enclosed by this graph, this graph, and the line x equals one. Find the area of R. So like area between curves, just it's out. Like you're you're not going to be doing it. Um, find the area of R. Uh, find the area of R. So my recommendation, well, it's study, uh, study hard for your AP exam if you can. Like, uh, hopefully everything in your life is going so uh, you can focus on this for a little while, maybe to get away from things. Uh, but at some point, make sure you also learn this stuff. Uh, so you're giving a picture, find the area. Yeah, look, area is just straight up gone. Um, areas of functions of X. So uh, I think it's also useful. I'm going to click. And if you're from the college board and you're watching this video and you're like, uh, this better be taken down, let me know and I will take it down. Not a problem. Chose publicly available though. I'm only looking at things that everyone could find uh, in past FRQs. Um, let's take a look at fundamental theorem. Uh, let's, let's just see. So graphical, let's preview this one. And it loads, graph of the function, six segments, integral from zero to x, uh, the graph above, write an equation. Okay, so I don't, I mean, I mean, I guess there's an integral there, so that's fair game. Uh, the rate at which people enter, the rate at which they leave, um, find the value of h of 17. So, I mean, you can read my screen, I hope. Find the value of h prime of 17, explain its meaning. Uh, so h prime, second fundamental theorem. So that's like rate in, rate out, still still in there. Uh, this one, like they're saying you can do, but uh, to set up the function that you're gonna deal with, I I think you need volume of revolution. Let me, yeah, so, oh, well maybe this said that it was gonna be eight. So that one's out. This one, this is the same question, get out. Is this the same question or is it just taking forever? Oh, it's taking forever to load, okay. Um, polynomial for the position, uh, what are you? Oh, eight's in there again. Write a polynomial for the position. That'd be like an accumulation function. Um, so I guess that's out. And I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm going through these, trying to, trying to alleviate, uh, some of the stress that you might be feeling about this kind of stuff. Let me see, let's see what, let's see what this question is. Uh, twice differential. Uh, write an expression for f that involves an integral. Find f. Of, so f of one is three. Write an expression for f that involves an integral. What is the? What am I doing? Problem is I'm not really reading the questions. Figure above shows a graph of f prime. Um, the graph has blah blah blah. The areas of the regions. Okay. Find f of four and f of two. Here they've written an accumulation function. Uh, is this a valid question? This is okay. Um, so it's good to know, like geometrically, I think accumulation functions are in, uh, I think the, uh, candidates test is in, uh, as long as it's geometric. So I think you can expect a problem like this where you have a graph and you're asked these kinds of questions. 
So, um, and then use your accumulation function. I may have contradicted myself in this video. I don't really know because I'm just kind of like doing it live. Didn't really plan it out that much. Uh, let's see what the next one is. What are you just your unit six? Okay. Uh, the graph of the function. Find this. Okay. So I mean, these are like uh, your basic uh, definite integrals from a graph accumulation function. So second fundamental theorem still in there. And let me look at chapter or unit six one more time and see if there's any other thing that I would wonder about. Um, so a lot of the, like these are just like uh, algebraic techniques. Those are uh, I would think will show up because of uh, they're going to ask you something about integrals, right? Uh, let's let's do fundamental theorem and definite integrals. This I think will just be like definite integrals, like evaluate from zero to three, whatever. Uh, so let's click uh, analytical and see what it looks like. Oh no, that had eight in it. So this is out. This is the same question. This question just keeps popping up. Will the people ever get into their concert? Who knows? Uh, man, these are all mixed in with function, graphical, graphical, analytical. All right, this one does not have eight. Uh, what? I guess L be the line tangent to the graph of that at the point as shown the integral from zero to one, x to the n. So, you know, it's one over n plus one, x to the n plus one, x goes from zero to one, plug it in, you'll get something in terms of n. Uh, so you can, you know, still use the fundamental theorem for sure. What are you, what are you requiring? Okay, this is all six. Cubic polynomial, where a, b, and k are constants, function f, all of these are from FRQs. Like, if you go out there and look for them, you will find an FRQ that has this question on it. Um, if the integral from this is this, good question, yeah. Um, all right, I, I don't know if this video has helped to alleviate some of your concerns or um, to kind of clarify a little bit for you what could be on and won't be on, um, but I wanted to get it out there so that my students at least can uh, know what they should focus on. Although if you're in my class, we're gonna keep reviewing as if it was the normal AP exam because I want you to know all this information, but uh, don't freak out about these topics anymore. So volume, 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 anything with volume is gone. Area between curves that intersect. Um, area between curves expresses X as Y. Uh, the accumulation function thing is a little iffy. Um, and then connecting position, velocity, acceleration, anything involving that that would involve an integral, I think is gone. Anything that involves just a derivative, still um, still in there. So, and then average value, gone. Even though it's like my favorite thing, integral over interval, and you just do it and you get your answer. Whatever, these are, uh, I think it's for the best. Uh, everybody's gonna be okay, study, and uh, I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.